So in interdependence was one interesting point that was raised. One of the speakers said that, uh, as a, by way of example, that if you want your neighborhood to be nice, you can clean up your yard, but if your neighbors don't clean up their yards, you're not going to get very far. So I thought that was a, a good illustration. But as one of the speakers said, in his view, the main threats are not technical, but really they're on the policy front. So we then turn to some threats to long-term stability from policy. Uh, one of those was the possibility of fragmentation of the network if net neutrality is not maintained. Uh, the need to maintain free end-to-end -end flow of information. Uh, there was a lot of discussion about over-regulation or poor, poorly informed regulation because there's a lack of people who do policy who are really comfortable with technical things. Uh, so the lack of uh, crosstalk between the technical and the policy side uh, bring their own threats. Also, uh, multi-stakeholderism is difficult for some uh, policy agencies to handle, so really we're still developing a, a level of comfort and ability to do things in a multi-stakeholder way. Uh, we had a case study from Lithuania about some national efforts to monitor the stability and security of their networks, and they identified a need to uh, have reliable indicators uh, so that they could do that work. We then turned to other discussion of solutions, and uh, someone said that the issues that are threats to stability are well known to the technical community for years. All the ones that uh, I just mentioned are not new to the technical community. However, when they become a problem or threaten to be a crisis, then the policy committee uh, wakes up to them and deals with it. So there's a need to close the gap uh, among researchers, operational people, and policy people. There's also a need to uh, train people to operate at the, the intersection of policy and technology. Then we very briefly looked at a map uh, that Izumi had uh, prepared showing some areas between policy and technology, uh, and he identified two gaps. One, uh, there's a gap where there's no functioning mechanism right now for regular global policy coordination or for a second one for global operational cooperation. Uh, we didn't think there was a need for new organizations, but uh, to look carefully at how those issues can be dealt with in some mechanism. So uh, after going through all that, we uh, the outcomes, I think, is a group of people have begun to talk about some uh, principles for uh, policy to deal with these kinds of uh, crisis issues and I think we'll continue work on that mapping exercise to, to try and identify gaps and refer those things out. Thanks. Thank you, Bill. Policy coordination uh, in a cross-national dimension or on a national level? Regional and uh, cross-national mostly, although the national level is also important. So it's a real internet governance issue then? Yeah, I think so. Better set up another organization then. Two or three, probably. Yeah. No, I, that was really one of the strongest points, yes. is that there isn't a need for a new organization. There's lots of organizations it's active a, in the field. It, yes. It's just raised, flagging these uh, particular concerns. It's just about, it's about the existing ones coming together and dealing with the specific issue.